what is Galatians 6? Paul is beginning to close the epistle to the Galatians and is providing some final instructions, obviously on the premise of his expectation that the Galatian believers would heed his instruction to this point in the epistle. Having just addressed the principle of sowing and reaping, seedtime harvest, in which he stated, He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Today we continue, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Galatians 6 verses 9 to 10. Let's look to Paul's sowing and reaping conclusion, as well as living out from God's grace, having stated, For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Paul turns to the sowing to be done, and the reaping expectations. Believers will he can have in this regard first he instructs, and let us not be weary in well-doing and this. Well-doing in which the believer is to sow expecting reap is not a focus on law-based flesh works. Rather it has to do with the roles of the believer in the body of Christ which are Number 1. First, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20. Number 2. Then we are to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Ephesians 3 verse 9. Number 3. And thereafter, the things that thou hast heard of me, Paul, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 With these vital roles pursued in sowing, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Colossians 2 verse 6 Then in due season we shall reap, if we faint not, in continued simple belief of the truth. By grace through faith certainly there is other well-doing, sowing efforts that will go alongside of the above three roles in meeting the physical needs of people to whom we share grace. But if our ambassadorial teaching of the fellowship of the mystery is not first met, then our well-doing endeavors are only temporal, and this certainly is not what God would have us sow or reap. With this as preface then, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith, places a premium on ministering to the spiritual needs and passing the baton related to the faith, ministering the physical, as well, but never of first priority. Believer, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Thank you for watching to today's study.